Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I understand it's been many days since I published a video on my channel, but today is going to be a super valuable video for people who are appearing in NEET PG 2023. I know it's about one month from your exam. So I would share the methodology that I would have adopted myself if I was in your place. Well, back in 2017, I had All India Rank 16 in AIMS exam and 11 in, in PGI exam. That time the exams used to be separate for AIMS and PGI. I had it in around 300 rank in, in NEET PG as well. I did my residency from AIMS and now I'm on a DM cardiology training program at AIMS. Now, the, the first thing I want to state is that this video is for students who have at least done one reading of all 19 subjects. So you've read your syllabus at least once, right? Now, because if someone asks me, can I crack NEAT PG if I start now? Very unlikely, very unlikely. If you're, if you're not prepared in last five months or last 10 months, it is very unlikely you will qualify this exam. If you want to give a try, you can do previous five years or 10 year questions. That's all I suggest. If you haven't prepared it till now, read previous year question papers of five to 10 years, learn as much as you can, and appear in the exam, give you a best attempt. Now, this video is about people, about students who have read, who have prepared for at least five months or six months or maybe a year. So you've, you've prepared during your internship year, okay? Now, I will state some of the rules I believe I would follow myself and some of the rules I feel that they are very important and these will definitely improve your rank. Because let me tell you, on the exam day in front of the computer screen, you will get whatever, 180 or 200 questions, none of those questions is actually hard. Or even if there are maybe 20, 30 questions which are hard, but they are, they are hard for every student. But the bulk of the questions, the majority of the questions are moderate. Many of the questions are even easy. But what makes a question easy or hard depends on whether you have revised that topic in the previous week or in the previous two weeks. What I mean is that even an easy question will become hard if you haven't read that topic previously in, in, you know, in the recent days. Okay, these are examples of questions which were there in INICT paper, the previous November paper. See, none of these questions is actually hard, but you will feel that these questions are hard if you haven't revised the markers of stomach cancer, if you haven't revised the markers of GIST, if you haven't revised the markers of Hodgkin's lymphoma, and how will you remember all that in the exam if you have revised all this stuff in the last one week prior to the actual exam? Okay, see, identifying this needle is not difficult if you have seen these images just 48 hours before the exam or maybe three to four days before the exam. So that is what is important. The strategy to revise in the last month, the strategy to, to make revision in the last two days or three days. Now, the point number one, I want to make the rule number one I want you to follow is that revise whatever you have already read. You may have prepared from some coaching material, some for maybe marrow, maybe prep ladder, maybe physical coaching, maybe you've read the review books, maybe you've made your own notes, whatever you've read, read the same stuff. Do not read a new book that your friend is reading. Do not buy a new app to practice things. No, whatever you've read, use the same books, use the same resources, no new stuff, because it will be a lot easier to revise your own, own material, right? Now, point number two, the, the doubt number two that you might have right at this moment is what are the most important topics? See, these are 19 big subjects. Each subject is actually a large material. So how do you identify the most important topics, the highest yield things, so which sort of guarantee questions in the actual exam paper? So they are previous year questions. You're appearing in NEET PG 2023. Please revise last five year question papers minimum five-year question papers and know everything about previous questions. Know that topic in detail. Know those questions by heart. Know the question, know the options, know the actual answer of that question, right? Now, how exactly should you revise in this last one month? I understand there are 19 subjects and each subject has a big book, right? A fair amount of material that you have to read. But what exactly I suggest is that 
So when you were preparing in the previous six months, you must have highlighted things, right? You must have added your own handwritten points. You 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 must have you know read the tables, the summaries, the algorithms given in the, in those chapters. Those are the things that you need to revise now. Why? Because these things are most important as you previously highlighted those points or as you previously annotated those points. Read and revise those points, right? Solve the subject-wise previous questions. And please remember, do not give more than two days to a major subject. You cannot afford to revise medicine or surgery for five days each. No, because you just have 30 days and you have to read stuff at least twice now. Give first 15 days for one revision. Give next 15 days for next revision, right? You have one month. Make two revisions. And that's possible only when you cover a subject, a big subject in two days or one and a half day and a minor subject in maybe half a day, two minor subjects a day or at the maximum a day for a minor subject. Okay. Now it will take many hours. Rule number four, I, I suggest is that read as many hours as you can, 12, 14, 16, as many hours as you can, whatever is possible for you. Now the point is, will you be able to focus on that exam day for three continuous hours? Your exam is for three hours, right? And you've started writing your paper, you're marking the questions, okay, you're moving forward. And then after one hour, you feel you're tired, you feel you're getting strain in your eyes, your mind is getting, you know, some, somehow slowed down. It should not happen. It should not happen. You don't want to be that person, right? So how do you prepare for that day? I suggest your rule number five here, which is the three hour rule. Now, how do you make sure that you focus nonstop continuously for three hours? You can practice it now. You can practice it in the coming days, in the coming weeks. And how do you practice that? Give a full 19 subject exam at least five to six times in this one month. Take a grand test, three full hours, solve a question paper for three full hours and practice focus. How do you develop focus? By practicing it and practice it at least three to three to five to six times in this last one month. So that way on that particular actual exam day, your focus will be sharp dot sharp for three continuous hours okay now rule number six is important you should you should know what you want to revise in the last 48 hours in the last two to three days well how do you know that you identify that now so the revision that you're going to make in the first 15 days you will identify vol volatile stuff you will identify the most valuable stuff in the exam some very very important table which is giving frequent questions each and every year please keep that as a material you want to read on the last day please keep some some very volatile stuff like the uh, forensic medicine stuff or biochemistry stuff or anatomy stuff some valuable some very frequently asked questions that you tend to forget keep that for the last 48 hours right because that is what you have to read for the last two days you cannot read any random thing on the last two days on the last two days the volatile stuff repeatedly asked questions you need to revise those things in the previous in the in the last two days now the last thing i want to make is that yes it may seem depressing 19 subjects, very severe competition, right? About a one and a half lakh students appear and how many actually make up to their dream branch? It's actually quite a small number. The point is that it is depressing, but everyone is the same. You may feel depressing. You may feel depressed. Your friend will feel the same. Other people, other, other students in other parts of this country will feel the same. You just have to keep going. You just have to stick to the basics you know keep revising whatever you've read keep revising keep revising solve the previous questions say no to new books say no to new apps give as many hours as you want to as you can in these days and definitely you will get a good rank and you will definitely be able to realize your dream of uh, uh, qualifying neat pg with good ranks and join your favorite brands in different medical colleges so thanks for watching this video